Hello and welcome back to Mom's Talk. I'm Christy Bertolino. Joining me today is Kimberly Phillips with BSA Hospice of the Southwest. Thank you for being here again. Thank you for having me. Now March is Social Workers Month. It is. And most of us don't know what social workers do within hospice care. So social workers are really vital for hospice care. We're an important part of the team. Um, we help patients and their families cope with many, many different things. And um, we just, there's just a variety of things that we can do. And you kind of tend to be the glue between the, the patient and the family. Sometimes, yeah. We can help with emotional distress. We can help with financial distress. Um, a lot of times people just don't know how to go about filling out advanced directives or planning for the future. And um, so we can step in and help with those things. It is definitely overwhelming, so it's nice to know that you're there. Yes. Now, who needs a social worker and why? Everybody. I, I don't think you realize you need a social worker until you actually need one. Yes. Um, because I think with social work, you don't realize what all we can do. Um, and so, you know, March is Social Work Month. It's Elevate Social Workers. That's what they've chosen as far as their platform this year. And so we would just want to, you know, give the community an idea of what we can do and what we can do to help them. Well, I definitely know how important you guys are to my family. So I'm thankful for you guys and I appreciate all of the work that you do. Sure. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. If you'd like to know more about BSA Hospice of the Southwest, you can visit our website at newschannel10.com backslash momstalk.